In this week, we're going to be looking at creating audio markers. And I've created this uh, project, audiomarkers.aep. You'll find the Chapter 18 folder. And basically, what we're going to be talking about here is creating audio markers. We talked about creating markers previously. And essentially, what we're going to be doing is using layer markers specifically for audio. So we have here this totally 80s project, complete with checkerboard and pink stuff and a dancing robot. And what we're going to do here is create layer markers for this audio clip. Now, if we do a RAM preview here, we can preview this audio clip. Which is totally rad. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the asterisk key on the numeric keypad to create layer markers. Now, this has like a cool beat that's kind of repetitive, the boom, 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 that type of thing. And so what I'm going to do is RAM preview. And while it's RAM previewing, I'm going to hit the asterisk key as if it were a drum. And it's basically going to create layer markers when I'm done at the points that I hit the asterisk key. This is a great tool for syncing visual objects to audio properties. So let's try it and see what we come up with. Okay, so if I pause this, you can see where I created layer markers while we were listening to the audio. It's like, doom, 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 doom. So you can see like the bass and snare combinations here. And then if we're creating a dancing robot, we could sync his motions with these layer markers. And if you're thinking that this is a really goofy, elaborate project for such a simple feature, you're right. It was. <laughs> Next, we're going to look at how to preview and mix audio tracks.